Borjomi Karagali National Park is the oldest and largest national park in the Republic of Georgia. The mountains and crystal clear rivers of Borjomi provide drinking water and irrigation to hundreds of thousands of people. Known for its mineral water sold throughout the world, Borjomi is also a last refuge in the Caucasus for Georgia's once rich wildlife, including brown bear, wolf, red deer, chamois, and lynx. One of the world's 34 biodiversity hotspots identified by the IUCN, Borjomi protects many of Georgia's endangered species, both plant and animal, with many close to extinction, including the red deer, leopard, wild goat, and the golden eagle. Established as a royal hunting reserve by Grand Duke Mikhail Nikolaevich in 1880, Borjomi's rich wildlife populations were decimated by the early 1900s. Although the Republic of Georgia designated these mountains a nature preserve in 1935, local residents still continue to hunt in and around the national park. Despite laws against hunting, Georgia's wildlife has continued to decline over the past 10 years, as the barks of poachers' dogs and the crack of high-powered rifles still echo through these valleys. Today, less than 10 chamois, 20 lynx, 30 brown bear, and 200 Caucasian red deer remain. The problem is aggravated by illegal logging, overgrazing by domestic livestock, and forest fires. Defending the park is a dangerous job. A lead ranger was shot dead in the face by a local hunter in the park. Other rangers have been injured and threatened. After a grenade was found in an official's truck, the government of Georgia began to prioritize ranger security, park and wildlife protection, and law enforcement. When Borjomi's head ranger was killed fighting a forest fire, Global Conservation provided education funding for his children. The Agency of Protected Areas signed an agreement with Global Conservation in 2018 to deploy Global Park Defense Systems, Technology, and Training to the Borjomi Rangers. With about 70 rangers patrolling over 200,000 acres of mountainous and difficult terrain, this support was critical to the fight against wildlife poaching and illegal logging. Technology has a huge impact on the daily work of the rangers on the field. We are using camera traps and body cameras. We are using GPS devices too. Uh, for example, 80% of the catching of the poachers are done by camera traps. We like to set up problemed areas with, with cameras um, and trip sensors and wires so that we can monitor, even if we don't get good pictures, even if they cover their face, we can at least, we have the trip sensors there, we can start to uh, learn how many people are coming through, what the major problems are there, so the camera traps and the trip wires and motion sensors are infinitely important as well uh, because you, know, you can't be there all the time. Over 100 cellular trail cams have been installed for real-time surveillance of roads, trails, and rivers. Rangers have been supplied with new GPS units and smart patrol systems. Global Conservation has also funded scientific studies and mapping for possible expansion of the national park. A master plan for a tourism trail system was developed for local tour operators to grow trekking operations. By funding professional video, drone, and photographic documentation, we are informing stakeholders and the general public about the critical needs of Borjomi National Park. Over the coming years, our goal is to achieve no-cut, no-kill protection inside the park, working with the government to expand park boundaries to include critical wildlife habitats and Georgia's last major intact forests. Global Conservation is a, a, an NGO that I support and that I am really a, a, a proud of the work it's doing, basically because it's the only one that I know has focused its resources to put in place a protection, physical protection of the places, of, so the last wild places on Earth. So Global Park Defense starts with a threat assessment, uh, under, uh, planning the, the park's protection, and then putting in surveillance systems so that we're having real-time uh, you know, feedback and photos coming back from the field of who's entering the park illegally. Also working with the communities to build informant networks, get them involved in the community echo guards as patrols. Because you can take all the, all the pictures we want to, we can go on all the patrols, but if you don't have the help of the locals and uh, you can't communicate with them, you don't have the help of all the organizations there and the, uh, all the different agencies for law enforcement, uh, it, it's all for naught. 
Partnering with the Caucasus Nature Fund, or CNF, global conservation has focused on deployment of global park defense, while CNF has invested heavily to improve park infrastructure, ranger facilities, and to provide 16 trucks for patrolling. Improved enforcement has nearly eliminated large-scale illegal clear-cutting, and growing ecotourism helps provide local communities with alternative livelihoods. Visitors come to Borjomi from around the world for more than just the famous mineral water. The scenery is breathtaking, and for now there is still a chance to see wildlife in the park while hiking, horseback riding, biking, or snowshoeing. Working with national park rangers and local communities, we are protecting one of the world's last bastions for intact forests and wildlife in the Caucasus. You can help save the world's most endangered national parks and UNESCO World Heritage Sites by supporting global conservation. 100% of your donation goes directly to deploying global park defense to assist park authorities and rangers fighting every day to save our planet. Your support is critical. Visit our website and join us as we save endangered wild spaces around the globe. Thank you.